from Shem to Abram. This is the account of Shem. Two years after the flood, when Shem was 100 years old, he became the father of um, Arp, Arp, Arpaxad. Arpaxad. I had this before and I, <laughs> I can't remember how to pronounce it now. And after he became the father of Arpaxad, Shem lived 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpaxid had lived 35 years, <clears throat> he became the father of Shelah. And after he became the father of Shelah, Arpaxid lived 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah lived 30 years, he became the father of Eber. And after he became the father of Eber, Shelah lived 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived 34 years, he became the father of Peleg. And after he became the father of Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived 30 years, he became the father of uh, Rio, Reu, R-E-U. And after he became the father of Reu, Pe <laughs> Peleg lived 209 years and had other sons and daughters. <laughs> I'm thinking of a video game <laughs> and, and how people... I, I think we pronounce it wrong or something, but there's a character in fighting game uh, uh, spelt differently, R-Y-U or something. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I'm trying to, trying to pronounce this name correctly, but I think I'm butchering it. So I apologize if you do understand, or if you do know how to pronounce the name, say it, you know, of course. Um, if you have, if you know the pronunciation, you can type it in the comments. Feel free to do so. Um, another point is that if you notice that the lifespan is starting to get lower and lower and lower. We went from people living over 900 plus years to 700 or 800 plus years to 700 to 600. Now we're all the way down to 400. That's still a long time, especially when it comes to human lifespan. Um, so... Continue on, continuing on, um, let's continue to read. When Ryu uh, had lived 32 years, he became the father of Sirag. And after he became the father of Sirag, Ryu lived 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sirag had lived 30 years, he became the father of Nahor. And after he became the father of Nahor, Sirag lived 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived 29 years, he became the father of Terah, and after he became the father of Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and had other sons and daughters. After Terah had lived 70 years, he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. There is a humming outside once again. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this is interesting, but anyways, um, uh, let's continue to read. This is the account of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran became the father of Lot. While his father Terah was still alive, Haran died in Ur of the Chaldeans, in the land of his birth. Okay, so remember Lot and remember Chaldeans. Um, Abram, Abram and Nahor both married. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milka. She was the daughter of Haran, the father of both Milka and Iska. Now Sarai was barren. She had no children. <clears throat> and so for those of you who know that Abram and Sarai are going to be very important. So take note of those two names and their names are going to change a little bit. <laughs> we'll, we'll find that out here shortly. Um, Terah took his son Abram, his, grand Lot, his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Terah lived 205 years, and he died in Haran. So uh, reading over this portion, um, we've now starting to come across some very important figures, especially Abram and Sarai, as well as um, Lot, another person that we're going to take note of, as well as the people called Chaldeans, um, who we'll learn 
who those are will be come or who uh they also have another name so we'll go over that here as well and we're just getting again this is from shem to abram so we're getting the genealogy genealogy of um the people and it's important because these people play a role in the continuation throughout the bible <clears throat> And so, and the, the importance we'll see just how very important it is. And again, back in those days, they didn't have uh, where they spit in a tube <laughs> and sent it to DNA um, or swab or whatever. They had writings, you know, they could write it down or they, you know, word of mouth and such. Um, that's how, that's how they kept uh, very important information. So such as genealogy. Um, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when you read this about um, how these, the lives, the length of time that they're living, about these um, uh, people that we're going to learn about? Um, what kind of thoughts or feelings come up? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?